questions on your college application will tell us something about your leadership chops. Now, you may think that leadership in high school means leading around a bunch of students in your school, perhaps uh, by heading up a fundraiser or being the head of a club, but that is not what admissions defines as leadership today. Today, college admissions defines leadership as aspiring to be inspirational. Aspiring to be inspirational. And how do you become that inspirational leader? By becoming an extrapreneur. Yes, when that 2.30 or 3 o'clock bell rings, get out of the walls of your high school. Find something that fascinates you, and you will become fascinating. Let me give you an example of the kind of engagement that admissions is looking for from you today. I had a student whose name is Laura, and Laura was quite sure she wanted to be pre-med in college, so she did all the things you'd expect. She took AP Bio, AP Chem, AP Physics, worked really hard, and got A's and everything. Is that engagement? No, not yet. That's being a great student. Laura also knew that she wanted to find out more about cutting edge research in different fields of science, but she couldn't learn all that she wanted to because her high school didn't have a science research program. But that didn't stop her. Laura created a science speaker series in her town. She grabbed a bunch of her friends who were also science enthusiasts and gave them each jobs and titles, which her friends loved because they could then use those jobs and titles on their college resumes. They reached out to speakers at medical centers and universities within a two hour drive of the town. They wrote blogs and press releases giving those speakers and their medical centers and universities tremendous press, which those medical centers and universities loved. The speaker series was held on the first Thursday of each month. The library was packed to capacity, and the tables were full of goodies, compliments of the PTA. Yes, even the PTA got involved because they could see the ROI, return on investment that such a science speaker series would give their kids. Now I ask you, is this engagement? Yes. Yes. Did Laura get into every school to which she applied? Yes. So being a leader today means thinking like an extrapreneur. Now you all know what an entrepreneur is. Someone who starts a company or an organization or an endeavor and takes considerable risk and puts in considerable investment. But it's important that you know that definition because you are moving into an entrepreneurial world. Then there's the intrapreneur. That's the person who works within the safe confines of the business, organization, or endeavor and keeps it humming. So an intrapreneur in high school might be the editor-in-chief of the newspaper or the head of the yearbook. Both worthwhile leadership positions, yes? But not what admissions is looking for today. Admissions gets thousands of applications from editors-in-chief. They don't want any more editors-in-chief. They want you your intellects, you, to go out there and start the process of solving global issues of health and industry. In business, we call those people entrepreneurs. In high school, I call them extrapreneurs. The kids with stars in their eyes who won't take no for an answer even though they're teenagers. They weigh the possibility of success versus failure and they jump anyway. They're the innovators. They want to know what will happen if. Sound familiar? They leave school at the end of the day and they look for engagement in other meaningful places. They try, they fail, they succeed, and
and they write about their journey. Don't be afraid if you think you're starting too late. There are some of you I know, I met last night, who are in the summer before their senior year. Don't worry about that. An extrapreneur can be born at any moment and admissions knows it. We all awaken at different times in our lives. You can be sitting in a lecture on a medical mission, first day on a job, in the middle of a, a class during the summer, and something happens or someone says something and it blows your mind and you say, wow, that's the thing I want to pursue all summer. Or that's the thing I want to pursue throughout senior year. Or that's the thing I want to pursue for the rest of my life. Well then, what are you waiting for? Jump in!